He's watching the weather too. Yeah, a couple hundred thousand people waking up in a different bed than they thought they were going to wake up to this morning. And hoping, and, you know, if that spillway, you know, holds, yeah. making sure they've got a home to go back to. Yeah, and they it would inundate downtown Oroville. Exactly, exactly. And it's so surreal to see Oroville just empty like right. that. Right. Uh, so if you have been evacuated, you're watching this this morning, you're not allowed to go back just yet. We'll let you know when we know uh, when it is safe. Once again, uh, as we take a look at this graphic, remember the Oroville Dam itself is okay. That structure is fine. It's the emergency spillway structure is the one that could lead to uncontrolled water being uh, just dumping into the Feather River and spots south. So that's what they're concerned about. I just want people to understand that the Oroville Dam itself is okay. If that broke, then that would be awful. But uh, flash flood warning until 415 today. The failure of the emergency spillway structure is possible. So you got to move to higher ground now. You're not being asked. You're being told to do that. So if you know somebody that's still there, please tell them to get out. That includes Oroville, Palermo, and Gridley areas and other spots you can see uh, shaded in that red color right there. As we widen out, there is a wider flood warning. So the flash means if there is a flood uh, and it happens, it's going to happen super fast. But a flood warning going until 915 for the, all the areas you see shaded in green right there, which is all of us. You can hear the sound of my voice right now. Rivers and streams are swollen. The, the, the flow is unbelievably fast. we got standing water that's got no place to be because of saturated soil. Now we do have today and tomorrow for things to settle down just a little bit before another storm system comes in here on Wednesday night. It did push some uh, high thin clouds in overnight and that stopped the fog from being too terribly thick. But you can see a lot of activity back to the west of us. So we think Wednesday, especially Wednesday p.m. through Tuesday could be wet. We're going to see a, ser a series of storms coming here with widespread rain. Snow levels, uh, Courtney, are going to start out high, uh, but they should get down to 3,000 feet by Sunday. And that's what you want. You want lower snow levels. But the beginning of the system looks like snow levels will be about 8,000 feet. All right. Good, good information to know. Thanks, Code, for the updates there. Let me